Hello everyone, I'm making a tutorial for Need for Drive servers, how to make your graphics realistic as possible. Okay, let's start it, yeah. First thing we need to download, yeah, it's pure, yeah, this is must have, it costs one dollar on the Patreon. This, this you don't need to have, you have free version, but without a paid version you won't have rain and any weather effects. Uh, yeah, and you need to purchase the Need for Drive PP filter if you want to have exact exact same graphics as you've seen on my lives and everything. Um, along with the Need for Drive Pure preset and CSP settings. Right, let's start it. Yeah. So as, as long as you subscribe to Pure, uh, you need to download it. All links will be attached in the bio, in my description. Right. Um, right, so you click this link and you apply for access. You wait about two, three minutes until you get the access, yeah, uh, along with the pure reshades, yeah. Um, so now, yeah, now let's start first with the settings, yeah. You got when you got the uh, CSP settings here, you only click this link, yeah, and you say yes, yeah, you open it in the and apply and save. It's gonna open, but you need to have open content manager, yeah. Um, and then you will have loaded here, so CSP setting is done. You don't need to change anything there yet. This video settings, it's it's my video settings. Yeah, it's for my PC. Yeah. So so now, uh, if you wanna install the PP filters, this is wh 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 where you go, where you're gonna have to go. Program files. I'm gonna show you here. Uh, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Assetto Corsa, and here where you put the PP filter system. CFG PP filters, and this is where you drop your PP filters, literally like this. And so now, in uh, I'm not gonna close this. Now you go to your uh, content manager video settings, and here you're choosing the where is it? Need for dry rise and PP filter. So now you need to install the PL. Yeah? So you just open this, open now. And copy all this to the root folder of Assetto Corsa, yeah? Not to the system, just into the main folder of Assetto Corsa, where you got your game inst installed. Yeah, uh, and that's it. After, probably you're not gonna have to do it, but just in case you go to custom shaders patch here, and you go into weather effects. Yeah, and make sure you choose pure gamma, yeah? But probably it's choose already because you got my sense. Right, and then you go to pure preset, you open this, and then you're gonna go to extension, um, config, pure, and this is where you put your pure preset, yeah, here, I'm not gonna put it because I already have, and that's it, uh, and if you wanna install the custom shaders patch, this is what you do, here you just drop it here, and you click install it, yeah, if you purchase the a light patch preview, yeah. Preview is a paid version. You don't have to have a paid version, yeah. So you don't need to. But you're losing on a uh, rain effects and everything on the weather effects. You can just click here, untested, yeah. Um, zero two point nine, yeah. Don't suggest if there is something say like recommended. Don't sh don't be suggesting by that. Yeah, just click the lightest one, yeah, because you won't be able to join every server if you have the this one. So now, and very important thing, you did everything. Now, so you can start your game, but very important thing, yeah, you need to put on full screen. I'll tell you why in a minute. So now I'm gonna start the game. So now you need to start your game. The game is starting. Yeah, and now you need to press Alt and Tab. Yeah, the screen gonna go black and it's gonna come back to itself. If you're not gonna do this, uh, you're not gonna apply the PP filter. So if you're not gonna do this, your graphics not gonna look right. Yeah. So you need to as you, when your game loading, yeah, you just press Alt and Tab, and that's it. Your screen gonna go black and come back to it. So now the game loading. Yeah. I'm gonna stop the video now. So now what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to open here, open Pure Config, and um, and you need to look for P post processing filter. Yeah. And make sure you have choose one, the right one, and exposure, it has to be on 200%. So yeah, this is how the game looks like, I'm gonna change the weather. Like this, you can see at night. Um, all, and uh, very important, you need to click import, and applies those need for drive pure settings. 
I already have applied this, so it's already the same graphics. And this is this is this is what you get. It's pretty realistic. I love it. I love it. As soon as I hear about Need for Drive, I fall in love. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm gonna show you from the inside. Wait, oh, like this. Reset. Oh, it's pretty. It's pretty sick. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the data. You can compare it. Pretty amazing. Um, so yes. Um, one more thing. Yeah, if you, if it's not enough, like uh, sun on a on a on a street for you, you can go to pure config light effects here, and you can, this is light sun level. Yeah, you can just increase a little bit. So it's it's up to you. It's up to your monitor. Yeah. So. Alright, thank you so much. I think this is it. Yeah, if I miss something, I will put in the comments. But I don't think I miss anything. I appreciate it. Leave a follow, follow like the video. Yeah, see you in another tutorial.